to grab your breakfast this morning. Maybe you're having some toast, a sandwich, maybe a sweet roll here. Bakers are up early to make those delicious breads and treats, and the baking business can be fierce. But Morning Insider Ventura Sully found out when a bakery in Evanston faced a crisis, it was the competition that came to the rescue. Is that all for you today? It's going to be 6:44. In a way, this is a story about breaking bread. It just stopped dead and nothing was happening. And a broken oven. Because this whole panel was black, like you couldn't turn it on, it just shut off. Keep in mind, baking bread dough is a chemical process where timing is everything. The clock was ticking for how much time we had to repair it. Like you see here, thousands of dollars in dough had already been left to rise. It was weighed and rolled and Boy, was it ready for the oven. Almost like a, a child that hasn't been fed. You can just see it building the intensity that it's soon just going to like erupt. But in the wee small hours of what's usually a busy Saturday morning, Hewn Bakery in Evanston had to post online a picture of their empty shelves, letting customers know they had to shut down, perhaps for days. I felt very bad for them. You know, we got his empty bread shelves. We're not going to have any bread to sell today because we don't have an oven. Like, well, how horrible is that? It was in that moment there that the neighboring community of bread bakers would rise to the occasion. Yeah, and I said, well, it would be very unfair of me not, to not offer something I could do to help. Jory Downer from Benison's Bakery, barely four blocks away, was one of several bakers who offered their empty ovens to Ellen King on the spot. Yeah, I mean, it was really humbling, to be honest. Ellen and Jory have bonded now. But at the time, the bakers were barely acquaintances. It's pretty amazing. I mean, I, I've known Jory, but we've never actually really face to face, like had a conversation. I don't know them very well. No, I've spoke to them a couple times on the phone, been very cordial. It seems among bakers, there is a secret ingredient they all possess, compassion for the profession. You know what it takes and you know that it's not just a matter of, I love to bake, I want to open a bakery. It, it's so much more than that. We appreciate each other's struggle, I think. It's grinding, it's grueling, and so you have mutual respect for other bakers. It's kind of my responsibility to this craft, you know. Um, just out of respect of what we do and how difficult it is to do, you know. Uh, maybe someday somebody will do that for me, you know. Sentiments that sound good any way you slice it. Maybe I'll send to you. In Evanston, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Hewn's oven is now up and running again. They ordered the same brand of oven used by Benison's down the street. What a great story.